Good morning. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go see if we can find some trades. Let's see if we can get started here. One second here. All right. Looks like I was getting a message from one of our students. But anyway, my name is uh, Sydney Guajardo with Trading Places. For those of you who, um, who are new to this podcast or this event, um, I named the company Trading Places because I, was, I had this thought about um, what would it be like if you traded places with the rich and we're giving you the opportunity to do that. And it's very, very easy to do. All it is is mindset. Uh, the rich people are not doing anything different than we are. They just think different. And I'm here to tell you. I have um, I was raised on the south side of San Antonio, Texas. Uh, predominantly poverty. Living week to week. Um, could not afford <laughs> um, anything bad happened during the week. You know, we just had to, we struggled to put food on the table. And um, I decided to change my mindset. It changed my whole life. And I'm here to do the same thing for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're probably not going to do any scalping today. I'm going to look for some long-term trades. When I mean long-term, I, when I mean long-term I'm talking about um, uh, trades that may happen today. Now, one thing about Friday, you have to be very, very careful. Because the market closes at 3 o'clock. And the last thing you want to do is, um, uh, hold on one second. The last thing you want to do is be in a trade and the market closes because when it reopens, you're exposing yourself to some gaps and, and that can go up or down when the market reopens again on Sunday. So when you do take trades, make sure that you get out of them. Uh, I'm assuming everybody here is brand new that's listening to the podcast we have a few, uh, sometimes we usually have a few hundred people on. Uh, today I didn't see the count. But anyway, uh, let's just go over some basics. Um, a lot of these basics, uh, you can go to my YouTube channel and, um, and see some videos as far as, you know, what is a pip? What is linear regression? All these big words, you know, give me one second, hold on. I had to get some food for the brain here. But uh, anyway, what happens is when when new students come aboard or um, or with or they try to do forex on their own, uh, they, the first thing they do is they want to do it themselves, and that's 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 okay. Uh, smart people do it themselves, but do you know what wise people do? Wise people hire smart people. <laughs> do it yourself is not the way to go. I mean, if you wanted to start a tomato garden, do it yourself. That's a good way of starting. Do it yourself. But if you wanted to get into Forex, if you want to learn how to create wealth, uh, hire a coach. That's why I made this extremely cheap. 
and you can start making money from day one. Uh, you technically can, but I suggest you start a demo account and start practicing. That's the best way to do it. Because even though our system gives you the answers to the test, you're still going to make more mistakes, than, um, which means losing money. And I don't want anybody to do that. Um, give me one second. I want to check something. But um, one thing you want to keep in mind, I'm going to give you an example of doing it yourself. Has everybody heard of LeBron James? LeBron James is probably um, the best basketball player that ever lived, and he's still playing. That's amazing. Now, do you think uh, before LeBron James was um, making any money, do you think he had a coach? Absolutely. He's the best in the world right now. Do you think he has a coach? <laughs> of course he does. This guy has a coach. Uh, for everything in life. He has a, a life coach. He has a mental wellness coach. He has a strength and developing coach. He has a coach that probably cooks his food for him, you know, a dietitian or whatever. So the better we get uh, and the more levels that you try to achieve, um, you have to have a coach. So why wouldn't we do that? Okay. So I want to explain a couple things before we get started. I'm going to look at gold first. So right here, gold. It has uh, been, been, been getting beat up. Usually with gold, uh, what tends to happen is um, anytime the Dow Jones goes up, gold goes down. And that was very evident. Right now we're at $1,699 an ounce. Uh, that thing was up to 1740 a couple of days ago. Yep, it's right there. Let's do a little um, horizontal line. I'll show exactly where it was. It was right there, maybe 1750 uh, And that was, I don't know, a couple of days ago. But since then, it's taken a, a direction uh, down in a downward trend, which is kind of odd to me. Usually in times like this, uh, the Dow Jones, uh, you know, when I mean times like this, I mean like uh, a crisis, a war. Right now we have a world pandemic. Um, but the stimulus money that they just passed has even made the, the stock market go crazy. You know, as a matter of fact, let's see what the stock market is. Before this, before the, the, the pandemic thing, we were at 20, almost 30,000, 29,000, something like that. Well, uh, it flattened out. Actually, it went down to 18,000. It had been down to 18,000 since Barack Obama was in office. And um, right here. So we're at probably about 24, 5, 24, something like that. And it's uh, 24, 170. So the, the stock market has definitely uh, gone down, but it's gone up 6,000 points since we've been at home. I think we're getting pretty close to it. So which brings me to my next point. You know, this global pandemic was not fun at all. It really hasn't changed my life because um, I have um, I'm very fortunate enough that I'm a, a full-time trader, which you can be too. It doesn't take much. But uh, being a full-time trader um, doesn't mean I'm behind a computer all day. I'm behind my computer right now. I'm, I'll be looking for trades. Friday's kind of odd. But I'll be looking for trades all um, probably two, three hours, however long it takes me to finish two cups of coffee. And then I'll trade, I don't know, about an hour or two after lunch. And then I'll just look at trades before I go to bed. So uh, during the day, we... Uh, hey, does anybody know what the inside of a theater looks like on a Wednesday afternoon during normal conditions? Um, if you don't know, let me tell you. It's empty. <laughs> These are the kind of things that I enjoy. You know, I don't, I don't like spending time for, you know, exchanging time for dollars. Spending time with my family. That's what life's about. Life isn't about uh, working 60, 70 hours a week, working for the man, right? And then uh, paying your bills and die. You know, Arnold Palmer once said, uh, you know, we're born to die. We are born to die. And I guess it's true. But uh, he goes, 
I want to live before I do. And Forex has done that for me. So let me let's let's look at uh, let's look at gold first. Let's go back to gold. So a lot of things I see here. Um, do you see this area? Virtually, it's kind of it really didn't move anywhere. Okay, what this is called in the forex world, it's called consolidation. Right about here. It kind of just stayed flat. Yes, it went up and down. It went up and down, but no real movement. You know, when I talk about movement, I'm talking about down here, up to here. It went up, and then and then it was kind of got a downward trend here, but it was still kind of flat. And then you have this other movement here from here, down to here. This is where we make our money. We make our money between support and resistance. This is also support and resistance. And yes, people made a bunch of money here. But it really didn't move. You know, it stayed, you know, within fifteen, twenty dollars, which is good. This is a rather large consolidation. But um you never want to trade during consolidation because you never know what's gonna happen. During consolidation, it kind of goes up and down, up and down, up and down, and then all of a sudden it just goes down. Look at this, just boom. Well, we don't want to do that. So I have rules for my students. Never trade during consolidation. Well, I want to show you this right here. Do you see this area right around here? We call this area right here the money street. Let me put a tool here. All this area is called the money street. Do you remember when uh, we were kids? One of the first things our parents says is, don't... Um, don't go in the middle of the street. <laughs> You're going to get hit by a car. Well, same thing here. You don't want to get caught in the middle of the street um, because you, you'll, you'll get hit with a, a smaller account. <laughs> Some, something is going to happen. So we have an indicator that uh, shows you when consolidation is about to start. And uh, I'm very proud of these indicators. This, this indicator right here is called the the King Solomon. If you look up here in the top left-hand corner, King Solomon. There's another indicator up here. It's called where we go one, we go all. I love that saying. And I, I did this for my students. All the students that subscribe to our education, that are making money, that are learning, they just want to improve their lives. I, I dedicate my life to this. So I dedicate this to my students, where we go one, where we go all, I mean, where we go one, we go all. The next one, the name of this indicator is the Rochelle, very close, first, a very close personal friend of mine lost his daughter in a car accident, um, in November, 2019, uh, right before Thanksgiving, uh, I would, that'd probably be the worst thing that happened in life is to bury your own child. So I dedicated it, I dedicated this uh, indicator to that beautiful woman. Um, so right now we're looking at the King Solomon. The, key, the reason I named this King Solomon, this, this uh, indicator, is because, um, you know, back in the day, he was the wisest man, and he was also the richest man in the world. So we want to share his wealth, and we also want to share his knowledge. So anytime we have any type of issues on trying to find the trend, we always ask, who, what would the king say? So right now, we're on the King Solomon, and he's saying gold is going short. Let me show you what this indicator says about, it, about going back to consolidation. Consolidation, we like to refer to it here at trading places as um, the money moving sideways. You never want to take a trade when the money is moving sideways. So anytime the, the, the money is flat... Let me see, let me give you an indication here like um, of what flat kind of looks like. This is a kind of a, a very small example, but do you see this circle right here? Do you see where the money was kind of flat right there? You never want to take a trade when the money is flat, when it's in the middle of the channel or the middle of the street. You don't want to take it because you get squashed like grape. <laughs> Because it think it go up or down. You just don't want to do it. Also, we have these other indicators here. 
one is right here you can see on the left side of your screen that little square right there is called a vessel this is called a vessel this is called a vessel this right here is called the money rope the money rope now think of it this way we're looking for everything saying down, down, down. The money rope is down, down, down. So we're trying to when you when you when you pull the trigger on a trade, when you when you, when you want to take a trade to go short or long. Let me tell you what I mean by short or long. When I mean short, that means you're going to sell. When we're going to go long, that means we're going to go buy. In this case, we have indicators showing that we want to go short. Well, you have to look at this vessel. If you want to go short, the vessel right here has to be under the rope to pull it down even more because it, it's okay if the trade is going short, but you wanted to keep going short when you enter the trade. That's where, you, that's where your position needs to be. You don't want to go short on the trade and then the vessel is trying to pull the rope up. That means it'll go in the opposite direction. And you'll lose money. Just give you an example. You see how this trade is going short or, or yeah, short a downward trend. Even though it's in a downward trend, what happened here? This was going up. Whoever took gold short here actually lost money in the last three hours. You don't want that to happen. This is what happens when you take a short trade or a, a trade going long during the and you go opposite the trend. So what you need to do is we need to have the vessel always under the rope on all three indicators. And this is an indicator here. The 120 is an indicator. The 240 is an indicator. And so is the 480. So this one's under the rope. This one's kind of under the rope. And this one's definitely over the rope. Okay. So... This right here, when, when you have these indicators not agreeing with each other, do you know what we do? We just go to the next trade. There's no trade here. Now what I just taught you about the vessel being under the rope, that, that goes for short trades. If you want to go for long trades, it's the opposite. You want the vessel to be over the rope. You want the vessel to be over the rope. You want the vessel to be over the rope. And this is a bulletproof system. I've dumbed it down. I've made the system to where you don't have to learn big words. You don't have to learn linear regression. You don't have to learn all these different things. It's all there. It's kind of like that Ragu commercial. It's in there. It's awesome. So let me put my tool away. Erase all this. And let's get prepared here. Oh, look at this. I developed this. I know we're kind of going slow here. But I made this thing called the quote board. And what you do is I've preloaded all the trades that we trade. One second. And I put them on here so you don't have to. The old way of looking for a trade is you do this. You go to the middle of the chart. You right click. You go to chart settings. And you put your... Uh, the trade pair you want to go to and it changes voila pretty quick right so or would you rather do this hmm isn't that better so the same the same thing where I went to chart settings and I put us 30 I can just put the down arrow whoops right here So we can go through these trade pairs rather quickly. 
You know what? So let me just go through. We've done the US 30. Um, I had to turn off my mic there. We had a little sneezing bout. Instead of saying bless you, we say Corona. Okay. There's no agreement here. Vessels under the rope. Vessels over the rope. Vessel is kissing the rope. No trade. Let's go to Euro dollar. Okay, well, I think this is a deal. Let's do some live trading. Whoops. I don't want to do that. Let's put this booger over here. Let me just put it right here. First thing we do when we're about to take a trade, we look for trend. The trend is going up. Look at this one here. It's going up here. Vessels over the rope. Vessels over the rope. This is about to happen. Let's see if we can do a trade. Euro dollar. Let's put it on the one minute candle. I always tell my students, please, 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 anytime you take a trade, let's put a Fibonacci on here. This is our, our profit finder. All right, so this trade isn't cooperating even though it's an upward trend right here. You see this? You have this one little wick, this one little candle is what we call it. It's not cooperating, it wants to go down. Now it's going up. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and take this trade, show you how powerful this indicator is. Uh. Okay. Oh, we just got in this trade twice. Anyway, if you could take a look at it, we're here and here. These are long-term trades. I'll probably get a lot. Of, I'll probably get out of it by next Tuesday, and this number will probably read anywhere between fifteen hundred and two thousand. But anyway, let's see how our indicators work today. Um. So the whole idea is for the yellow to go up past these serrated lines here we're still in a very good position here matter of fact we're already in the money making 25 cents Ooh -hoo. i changed it to 10 cent lot size so it's not going to make any money so once it gets to about two dollars we're going to go ahead and get out uh, one second here I'm very big on risk management. So we're already making four bucks. I'm gonna get out. And we're gonna get out of this one too. So I dare you to find another company uh, that does Forex that actually does training um, live and also trades live. And the reason why you'll never find that is because um, <laughs> quite frankly, you know, what if, what if I was a bogus guy? What if this was a scam and I took those trades and lost money? I look like a complete fool, but I have such great confidence in our product here that I go ahead and take live trades. And you may be saying, well, okay, I see this. Um, your indicators aren't so great because I see you losing $600. Well, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 trades, collectively they're losing $600, but I, I purposely took these trades and we're going long on, the, well, long and short and buy and sell or whatever you want to call it, but I took these trades a week ago and I'm testing at our new indicator, which is this one.
where we go one and we go all. And this is a long-term trade. It's designed for you to stay in the trade for two weeks around that time. So um, that's the re when you and when you're in Forex, you have peaks and valleys. Case in point, you have this right here it's going down. And then you have this part right here where it's going up. But the long-term trend... Let me move this. Hold on. Move this out of the way. So the trend here is short, but then it does have some peaks and valleys. But the overall, the trend is still down. So this is the indicator I was trying to prove because I know scalping, especially for the Rochelle. The Rochelle is you. Uh, the Rochelle indicator is for the people that want to scalp. And what you do on the scalping tool is you stay in a trade, just like we did there. Um, we stayed in the trade for a little bit, and we we got we got out. Hold on one second. That's scalping. The other tool is the King Solomon we're looking at. So what we did is we took that trade, it went long, and it decided to do go another direction, so we got out. So that wasn't a very good example, but we took some trades and made some money. So let's go to the next one. US dollar, yen. This one's definitely short. Move this way with this booger here. Put it right there. This one's definitely going short. You know, I'm going to go ahead and take this trade. These, are, this is gold. It's going to go up today. But, um, US dollar yen. in there one second I'm not going to take a short so we took it short we're right here I think it was a good decision. We're already in the money. That's good. Basically, I don't stay in these trades very long. And I'm doing this for... Um, for illustration purposes only. And I'm trying to show you guys that my indicators work. Um, we're not putting very much risk here. Ten cents. But uh, there goes to show you that we just made two bucks on it, dollar eighty six, dollar eighty seven. Let's go ahead and get out. So it's very hard for someone to say, "Oh yeah, you don't live trade." Well, bullshit, we do. It's right here. Um, let's go to Euro JPY. So this one's kind of coming down, but the trailer or the the money rope and the vessel, they're they're kissing. We don't want that. What happens during that is it's is during the money is doing the sideways thing. It kind of is. Look, it's right there. Give me one second, guys.
Sorry about that, guys. I had to go reset the router. We're going very slow today because I'm um, trying to show you some stuff. So far, if you're just joining us, we've taken two trades today. We're two for two. My indicators work. They just do. If they don't work, it's because something you did. Human error. We all do it. I've made mistakes on my own indicators. I have rules. And I'll share these rules with you. Aussie dollar versus the US dollar. First rule, no kissing. No kissing and nobody in the middle of the street. These are probably one of the two rules that uh, you grew up on. <laughs> so the vessel, the vessel, the vessel. The vessel's over the rope, kind of over the rope. This vessel's kissing. Don't take a trade when there's kissing. No kissing, you're too young. Don't take a trade in the middle of the street. You ain't hit by a car. What do you do? Go to the next one. Oh, look, there's two indicators kissing. No kissing, no kissing. The vessel's over the rope. Don't take the trade. Let's go to US dollar Swiss. Whoa, okay, look at this. You see how this rope is going up and then it kind of is turning to the left and it's kind of going down. And this rope, you know, this vessel right here is actually, it's pulling it down. That's what it's doing. So that's what you, you want to do here. You, you want to look for a downward trend. Look at this. Boom. Bam. Things going down, way down. Look at this. Bam. Coming way down here. This one's kind of pulling it. And this one hasn't come to the show yet. So what do you do here? These people aren't agreeing. So let's go to the next trade. Let's go to Pound Swiss. No kissing. The, the rope is kissing the vessel. We don't want that. The vessel's over the rope. The vessel's over the rope. But we are in the wrong trend here. It's it's not it's not a deal. See how fast this is. Let's uh, get rid of these. Hear my little puppies? They're yelling. Okay, so this one. You see this red candle right here? It's going down. That's what this vessel is trying to do. It's trying to pull this rope down. The 240 minute. Oh, you know what? Let's go this way. Let's go Audi JPY. You're going to see the same thing here. This is already in downward trend. So, but it's getting close to the bottom. That we call this the street here. It's already almost at the end of the street. So, if you were to get in this trade, which it looks like a pretty good trade, what's going to end up happening, it's going to want to go to the other side. And that means it's trying to go up. We don't want that. So when that happens, we just simply go to the next trade. Cat JPY. Pulling it down, pulling it down. This looks like a good trade. Actually, the 15 second is trying to pull this booger back up. And there's a indicator right there showing you that it's trying to go up too. And there you go. The money's on this side of the street. Look where the money is. It's right on this side of the street. It's trying to go up. And that's what this indicator is trying to tell you. So even though it's in a downward trend, um, it just, you know, it, I don't feel comfortable because it's going in a downward trend and we want to go up. Even though our indicators are saying go up, we can make some money. But then what's going to happen is it'll run out of juice and come back down and you'll, you'll lose money. So that's why we're looking for agreement. This one, we do not have agreement. So what do you do? Next trade. Let's go to um, Swiss Yen. First, let's get rid of these markers here. Okay. This is definitely going down, but look at this. It's already at the other side of the street. And so we're looking for a trade that's gonna go up. See, this is going down and it's already gonna hit the bottom here. So it may wanna go up. That's not typically the case. Um, this charting system was developed to make it very easy. 
So there's a lot of students say, well, let me, I'll just, I'll just uh, learn here and just try and do it on my own, get my own charting system. <laughs> yeah, this, it, it doesn't work that way. Uh, these indicators, I hired some programmers to do all this with my um, education in Forex, and we came up with a system that works. And there's some companies out there that charge $30,000. Can you believe that? $30,000 to get educated in Forex. Mine's just three, $399 to start and uh, to start the program and uh, $99 a month. And you get these this awesome charting system that you have to download on your computer. And you get all our indicators, the Rochelle, the King Solomon, and the Where We Go One, We Go All. And we can help you pay for this by um, referring other people to you. So as a matter of fact, uh, Joe Blow starts our program, pays $399, pays $99 a month, gets all these indicators, he's making money in Forex. All of a sudden, he starts bringing on his friends to join us. He starts to uh, recruit people for us, they pay, and then we pay Joe Blow. It's a pretty neat concept. So you can make money just by telling people how to make money. It's, I mean, I don't know, it's like printing money, isn't it? Unbelievable. It's a great idea. All right, let's go to the next trade. There's nothing here. Let's go to Euro, Aussie, Dollar. Um, it's kind of been a downward trend here. It's kind of going up now. But uh, we need the vessel on south of the rope. And these two are complying, but the 15-second indicator is not. So when there's no agreement, what do we do? We just go to the next trade. Euro pound. All right. This may look like a trade. Let's kind of pull this up here. Euro pound. Where is it? Where are you, Euro pound? Let me find it. I'll find it here somewhere. I guess that's not here. There it is right there. I have a template called show me your pips. <laughs> okay, so this is definitely on the way up. It's kissing here, so I'm kind of scared. And What do I not like about this? This is what I don't like. You see how it's kissing? Well, you see it's already starting to pull down. Let's kind of look at it for a little bit. Let's see what happens. I mean, it is going up, so. Hmm. My little puppies, they're yelling. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Even though I don't like it, I'm going to buy it. I want to show you something here. Euro pound. Where is that booger at? Here we are. So we're losing 25 cents. All right. We're looking for this thing to go north. You see how it's pulling it up and pulling it up? Let's see if we can make that. Where are you in the money? 75 cents. Dollar eighty eight cents, ninety nine cents, dollar twelve. Dollar sixty two. You see it's not bad. That's all you gotta do. And that's a very, very low risk trade. So if you put five hundred dollars into account and you use my indicators and you put it at point one zero, that that's what you have to look forward to. Just positive growth every single day. And your account will grow and grow and grow. Every time the needle moves forward, it's bigger and bigger. But we've already taken three trades today. We're three for three. Just on my indicators. Let's go to the next one. I'm very proud. Pound yen. Look at this one. Let's go look at this trade. Pound yen. Come on, guys. Pound yen. Here it is. Go to the five minute. It's uh, 
And this one is um, kind of changed directions on us. Looks like it was going down there for a little bit. Now it's going up. But you see how it's kissing? We don't want to do that. There's no kissing. You don't cross the street. You don't stay in the middle of the street. You, there's no kissing. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's go to the next trade. NZDJPY. All right. They're kissing. This is above the rope. Looks like it's going in an upward direction. I don't like it. Look at the 15 second candle here. Our indicator shows that the vessel is under the rope. These, there's no agreement. Let's not talk about it. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the New Zealand dollar. Over the rope, over the rope. This one's under the rope. Too much brain damage in the world. Let's go to the next one. Dollar cat. Give me one second. All right. So this one here, oh, look at this one, USD CAD. USD CAD. Let's look for USD CAD. It's called Dollar CAD. It's not there. Let's look for it over here. Let's get it all set up. Show me your pips. Puppies are so crazy. Yeah, it looks like it's going down. Got to be careful here. I kind of like the tree. Let's take it. Where did I just put that one? Right here. Already making three bucks. It's already getting towards the bottom of the screen. That means it may want to start to go up. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of this one too. Well, five bucks, four bucks, five bucks. Let's go and get out. So now we're five for five. Or four for four, whatever, whatever we are. But I just took some trades here. Unbelievable how this indicator works. It's like printing money, guys. Aussie dollar CAD. Under the rope, it's going down. Under the rope, it's pulling it down. Over the rope here, you know what? Let's not take the trade, it's not gonna work. So let's go to Ozzy NZD. No kissing, there's no kissing. No kissing during class. <laughs> I don't like when trades are kissing or when, the, when, my, when, my, uh, when my vessel is kissing the rope, it grosses me out. <laughs> that means the money's gonna start to go sideways. We don't trade when the money's going sideways. We trade when the money's up or down. That's all there's to it. Next trade, EuroCAD. Ooh, look at this. Oh, look at that. That indicator right there is kissing. Vessel rope kissing. I'm gonna tell mom. You're probably kissing when the money's in the middle of the street. Look at that, horrible. EuroCAD's misbehaving. EuroCAD is misbehaving, is horrible. Let's go to the, <laughs> let's go to Euro Swiss. Look at this. All three of these kids are being bad. They're all kissing. The vessel's kissing the money rope. Mm -hmm -hmm. But look, hold on one second before we start judging everybody. This one's getting ready to move across the street and it's at a sharp angle. What I don't like about it is we're in a downward trend. So let's see what the king says. Let's go to Euro Swiss and see what the king says. Euro Swiss. Euro Swiss. You know what? This thing is setting up to go long. Let's go to the where we go one. We go all. The all seeing eye. Euro Swiss. Let's go take a look at it. Let's see if we can set up a trade for long term. Oof. It's on a downward trend here, look at that, just. But look at this, it's starting to move up a little bit. This may be something we want to look at Monday. Write this down, students. Write Euro Swiss down for Monday. 
it's going to take some time because this, see, these are one day, three day, seven day candles. So it takes a lot of momentum to move these trades around. So this is something definitely we want to look at uh, for Monday. So what we're going to do on this, we're going to pass on it is definitely not a scalping uh, strategy for Euro Swiss. Euro NZD. Mm, what's our rule? No kissing. You're in the middle of the street, brother. Let's get out. Put you in timeout. You're a sec. Ooh, kissing. Short, short. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. It's definitely a downward trend, but the last two candles have been up, so it may come down. We don't have time for that. Let's go to pound Aussie dollar. Wow. I don't, uh, I really don't see anything here either, guys. Um, just kissing here. Let's just go to the next one. Pound CAD. Look at this. I'm interested. Pound CAD. Do I have this up there? Nope. Let's look for it. Here it is right there, pound cad. Let's do a chart order. One click trade. Let's do our template. And this booger's going long. It's going long. It definitely looks like it's a deal. Let's put a fib line up. Let's check out our little profit center. Profit finder. Never take a trade when the when the when your candle's getting ready to hit a resistance line. Resistance line is line fifty, or any of these lines could be resistance. Anytime the the money gets close to that line, it's going to sputter. So we want to wait. We want to want to do is wait till it uh, breaks that resistance line. It's kind of petering out. Look at that. Starting to kiss the line. So what do we do when they kiss? We go to the next trade. See how quick that was? Pound Swiss. We got seven more minutes. There's no agreement here. Over the vessel, or vessels over the line. Vessels over. This one's down. Pound NZD. So what we have here is. The vessel is kind of kissing the rope here. It's kissing the rope. So we have two rules in Forex. There's no kissing. The vessel cannot be kissing. And the money cannot be playing in the middle of the street. So no kissing and no playing in the street. So what happens when we when we see this happening? We go to the next trade. But we are finished going through these trades. We went through all of them. And found five for five. Went five for five today. Very, very good. Um, so went back to gold. Uh, look at that. Cardinal rule, no kissing. Money's in the middle of the street. Go to the next trade. So, all right, it's been fun, guys. We spent about uh, 55 minutes. We went over this. We went over the King Solomon and the where we go one, we go all. Uh, very awesome indicators went five for five today. Everybody made money. We went three for three last night and went six for six the morning before. So we took a total of 15 trades. And um, I think we missed one. And we missed, we, we, uh, we missed that one by six dollars. So I'll take, I'll take that all day long. So what I should have named these indicators was uh, the... Um, the money, the the money printer, because <laughs> these indicators are rock solid. But anyway, guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this into a podcast here. The next couple weeks, I'm gonna add some effects to it. Uh, we train twice a day, eight in the morning Central Time, six in the evening. Except for uh, we may have training tonight, and I'll just go over some technical trading, some rules, thing because the, the market will be closed at four. We'll be go over that. We'll be going over that today. Also. 
um, if you'd like to join Trading Places. It's $3.99 to start, $99 a month. Let me tell you what it includes. You get this awesome state-of-the-art charting system. It's called Sierra Charts. The Sierra Charts do not come with indicators. You have to build your own. Um, but when you join Trade Surfers, I will custom make these indicators for you, which are already made, and I'll load them up for you. You also get training twice a day, 8 a.m. and 6 p.m., every day except for Saturday and Sunday. Sometimes we will have an, um, a special event on Sunday when market opens up at 4 o'clock, uh, just to give you some uh, insight of what's happening during the week. We will also invite you to our VIP channel. It's called the Trading Places channel on the Telegram, the Telegram app. And during the day, I do distribute trades. Uh, like, for instance, uh, I'll say US 30, go look at it, go short. If you look at it, go open your computer, open the trade that I recommended. If you like the trade, take it. And most of the time, um, it's probably right on because I'm getting it right from my indicators and I can see the trade happening. And uh, we also uh, have some more videos on our YouTube channel um, that show you all the, the, the uh, ins and outs of Forex. It teaches you all the big words. I've kind of dumbed it down in my education, you know, linear regression. Um, consolidation. We don't use those words. Consolidation is when the money is moving sideways. Well, people understand money moving sideways easier than consolidation. So this is the verbiage we use. You know, there's um, convergence, divergence. We don't use that. We use the money street. And what happens in the street? Well, all the actions in the middle, that's where you don't want to be. So two big rules. There's no kissing. That's consolidation. And don't play in the middle of the street because you're going to get hit. So where do you want to take a trade? You want to take a trade when you can see what's happening on both sides of the traffic. So that happens on one side of the street or the other. So when you're on one side of the street, you're trying to get to the other side. And that's where you make the money, between support and resistance. That's how I, that's how I understand it. And if I understand it that way, millions of others will too. So um, we also have a program where if you join uh, Trading Places, you tell your friends and family they join. You make a little change for yourself too. So, uh, so as of right now, we are over and out. I uh, appreciate you tuning in, and um, we will catch you later. Thanks, guys.